what I'm showing you today is a speciation evolution simulator. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to start off pretty basic, but it's really not very complicated. So I can create these prey, and these prey are just these blue dots. They move around the screen randomly, and so each step that the computer runs, they move up, left, down, right, and they can only move within this rectangle. So their motion is completely random, and here's how they work. Each step, they also get 10 energy, and that's just a number. It just represents them eating, getting food. They're just a generic prey species. So also when the prey run into each other, they lose energy. And that's simulating competition for resources where there's not enough food. So what that does is when the population is too dense, they begin running into each other more often and losing more energy than they're gaining so they'll die. When their energy reaches zero, they die. When their energy reaches a higher number, a hundred, then they'll duplicate themselves, reproduce. So, after a short time, the population rises. This is a graph of the population. And we'll reach this carrying capacity, at which point they're running into each other frequently enough that it's counteracting the energy they're gaining. So, that's all that happens when you just have prey. But it gets more interesting when you add the predators. So let me restart this. And I'll introduce some predators and some prey. And let the system run. Now the predators are basically the opposite of the prey. They are always losing energy each step. But they gain energy when they eat a prey. And they, when they run into a prey, they have a, only a chance of eating it. They don't always eat it, which is essential later when I'm talking about how I made it so they can evolve. In this version, they are not evolving, however. And what's so interesting is that you can see this standard predator-prey population dynamic going on down here. So when the prey population is at its top, the predator population is rising at its fastest rate, and then the prey population falls, and you've got this cycle. And I did not program any equations into this. Man, like There's a lot of equations people have made to simulate or show these, this population dynamic, but I did not program any of those. Instead, this is arising just due to the nature of the randomness here and the patterns that arise from how I made this random system. And so it actually correlates to a real world thing. So next I'm going to show you the version where there's actually evolution.